Welcome dear friends, welcome to Crafty Healing Art. So today I'm going to give you a 101 tutor tutorial on acrylic paint. So you've probably heard about acrylic paint or you've just, you know, stumbled onto this video. Um, but most likely you've heard of acrylic painting and you've been uh, curious and want to see if you want to try it out. So I'm going to show you in the way that I was introduced to it. So. It was something we did as a family on a family night. And so we, with my kids, everybody, um, right before, actually even before the pandemic started. And so this is what we did. Now, I had watched um, videos from Mixed Media Girl. She is awesome. And she had, she, I mean, this seems so much fun and we wanted to do it as a family, family, and so we got the stuff that we needed. And so I'm gonna show it to you um, as I came to it. So, what do you need? First of all, it's easy. We're gonna keep it simple. Just as like, consider it like you're doing it maybe family night. So what you need is, first of all, of course you need paint. Now there's tons of paints out there. I mean, all types of brands, all, all types of, you know, uh, grades and everything and but what you need is acrylic paint you could simply go to Michaels or even to Walmart and pick up paint now the first thing we did when I first did it with my family was we used apple barrel from Walmart 50 cents um, you know 50 cents for two ounces and got a whole bunch of them at that time and uh, you know we we use that and I use that even after I started doing it a little bit more seriously because I wanted to practice because it's very much cost effective. I mean, if you go into it later on, you will find out there's so many beautiful brands out there. I mean, there's CraftSmart is also very economical. Folk Art is also very economical. And then you move on to the other ones. You've got Liquitex Acrylic Basics. You've got Artist Love, Metallics. Go on to even more expensive and you get to Amsterdam and you can even go into Deco Arts, Americana Decor, Metallics. Um, you can even go in then a little bit higher and go into Arteza. And uh, I mean, and Liquitex actually comes into probably the same category there. And then you get to the real high alarm and you go into Goldens. And I just recently started using Goldens because they're quite, quite pricey. So what do you have to do with the paint once you have the paint? First of all, you need to do is you need to mix it. You cannot do it right out of the right out of the uh, right out of the jar. So what you will do is mix the paint. What you need to do to mix the what do you need to mix the paint? You need a medium. Now, um, I mean, you. It's up to you what you want to use. But the easiest, I believe, and most cost effective is blood flow control. Now. Um, it's not really something that is supposed to be used to mix for acrylic pouring, but it is most cost effective. And for me, it works really, really well. There's Liquitex pouring medium. There's, you know, um, Golden's uh, pouring medium. There's Deco Art one that I believe as well too. There's all really lots of them out there, but this is the most cost, of, cost effective. Find a Home Depot, which sells it by the gallon you'll get it for an even better price i mean if you get a quart it'll be like six or seven seven eighteen six ninety nine to eight ninety nine if you get the gallon right from home depot or lowe's or even menards you can get it for 13.99 in sometimes even 12.97 i believe and it's so cost effective that way and it lasts for you know you can use it quite a bit and it works really good i really like the results of it so i don't have any problems with it so what you will do is then take the paint take it like i've taken and usually sometimes it is clumps and all you gotta do is because the clumps is maybe use a strainer to strain it but what i've done is i put <laughs> uh you know a Penny hose type of sock and put it through and put a rubber band around it so that when I strain, when I pour it, no clumps come out, but the flow drill comes out. So that works out really well. So I'm gonna mix it up really quick right in front of you. I'm gonna mix up this black really fast right in front of you. So 
So what you can do is just gonna, now most of these ones, the after barrels, the you know, um, all these, usually the ratio that you need is two to one. What do you mean by two to one? Two to one means like let's say you put in one part of paint. So I've got it. I eyeball it. I may do one on exactly how to do it, but I eyeball it. So I eyeballed it. Put in this paint. Paint. I think I'm gonna need. Okay. Like let's say that's that much. Let's say that was. Let's say that was one ounce. So then you will need to put in two ounces of a filter, or as I eyeball it, I just put it. And this to me, it is two. And go. Now, second thing you need, I should have actually gone over the things that you need. So as I said, you needed paint, you need a medium, you need, and you know what, you don't even, you can even get any paper cups that you have at home. You need a canvas. Obviously, you need a canvas. Now, canvases, you can get from Walmart, you can get from Michaels, eight by 10 um, packs, value packs, you can get for very good prices. And, you know, that's what we used. And you can even find it at the dollar store, but believe me, I think even the ones from Michaels and Walmart, the value packs are really good. Now, I'm using something you probably already have at your house, mason jars, or you can go to the dollar store and get a vase. And I put a cup underneath it to hold this in place. And I will show you why in a second. Okay, another thing you need is something to mix your paints with. So you got your craft sticks. And so, yeah, and then I will mix this. Mix it nice up, mix it up really well. Make sure there's no clumps. If there are clumps, you can strain it, obviously. Now, consistency is very important. Now, because we're gonna be pouring this down a jar, you want it to be not too thin, not too thick. You wanna be thin enough that it will pour, but also not too thick that it just slides off. It should, paint should stick to the jar too. So, I think I'm gonna just a little bit thin this up. So I've got some water here I had in a, Recommended use is distilled water, but not necessary. I've even used tap water and it's done fine. Okay, so what you're gonna need basically is you're gonna need the paint, which we went through. You're gonna need paint, canvas. I'm using a vase to pour over. You're gonna need the medium, which we've got for flow troll, so you can work out that in a minute. Um, you're gonna need craft sticks. You're gonna need gloves. If you don't want to get your hands dirty, you're gonna need gloves. I don't mind, so I'm not wearing them uh, for now, because, yeah. <laughs> and basically cover whatever you have around you. I'm doing this on a pool table, but you can even do it on the floor as long as you cover it up with tablecloth. This is messy. This is going to be messy. And so cover up with tablecloths you can get from a dollar store, these uh, table covers, and you know, you got your craft sticks. So yeah, now where you are, is. Alright, and I've already mixed up some other colors as well. So the colors that I have mixed up, I'm actually using apple barrel right with you, even though I usually don't use them that much anymore, but you know, doesn't matter. I put in Bahama Blue by Apple Barrel Gloss. I put in, I have Bright Blue by Apple Barrel. And I did a mixture of the Apple Barrel Bright Red and the Apple Barrel Bright Magenta and to get this color okay and then I like to add a metallic into it so I have here this is Deco Arts Extreme Sheen in 24 karat gold okay that one that's Deco Arts Extreme so now what how are you going to do this all right so I'm gonna put this on the side for a second on the side for a second 
and we're gonna grab a cup. We're gonna layer it into this cup and always remember whatever goes in first is what's gonna come out last. So the last is probably gonna be what's gonna be on the top of your vase. So think accordingly to that as to what you like your the bottom of the vase to look like. And just pour. Just have fun with it. It's so much fun. It really is. I mean, it was just this activity that just got me totally into a clip pour. Look at that paint. Beautiful. Look how beautiful that paint looks right there. Alrighty. And put it right back down there. You can take four cups or four of the small okay, and just put it underneath the canvas so that that can stay elevated as well. I'm just going to take the paint and we're just going to go ahead and just let it go and enjoy it. pour it down or you can pour it in a ring style or you can do a jiggle type it's up to you totally up to you I'm jiggling it make sure you get all your corner all sides stop for a second and see Make sure you're getting all your corn. The sides are covered. What an amazing move. Now you let it, let it fall. Let it, you know, give it a few minutes. Let it drip down onto the, see that maybe has slowed up. Now gently, and this is hard I know, especially I know, because I have very shaky hands and it's hard for me to do this. But you can do it if I could do it. Get up lightly and just set it to the side here. I'm gonna set this to the side where it can just sit and it can continue to drip more and it can dry. Now, 
Look at the paint on the canvas. Oh, so beautiful. So what are you gonna do with this? Just tilt. And you're gonna make your... I'm gonna get these out of the way because I don't want to get these too wet so that I can't use them again. And now, just tilt in whatever fashion you, you know, you like. You can go in in a swirly fashion. You can go down one way first, down the other way first. It's up to you. There is just no right or wrong here because you will most likely get a most cool, beautiful, beautiful artwork out of this regardless of what you do. And it is so much fun. I still love doing this so much. What a wonderful holiday present this could do. First of all, something to do with your kids or on your own. And wonderful gifts you can make and it's cost effectively and ones that I'm sure anybody will love to get. And the vases that you make, they can be used as you know, makeup brushes, you can hold big or pencil, put pencils in there, or anything in there. You can use it in so many different ways. I use the ones that I made in the beginning when I first did this, this with my kids. I use them actually to use a lot of my art supplies. So, you know, look at that. Look at that. And there are people who have found ways that, you know, the paint that drops here, there are people who have found ways to use the skins. They let it dry, and when it dries, it peels right off. Usually, even off of this tablecloth, it will peel right, right off, or what people will use. Sometimes they will put um, silicone mats underneath, or they'll put, like, you know, freezer paper, and stuff and they'll peel right off and then they make things like jewelry and bookmarks and keychains and other paintings with just the skins and it's just phenomenal. I just love this. Just doing a little bit more finagling with it. And look at that. That is just superb. So look at that. Amazing. I'm gonna guys bring you guys in for close-ups to get an idea of what we made. So here is the close-up for the painting and it's so nice and shiny and, and the metallic of the gold is just making it even more beautiful. I forgot to mention the one thing was the torch. If you have a torch or if you have one of those lighters that you use to light up the grill or birthday candles, you can use it quickly to go over the vase and the canvas quickly that in case there are any air bubbles it'll pop it up so here you can see the vase and it's just beautiful and uh i mean i hope you will try this with your family um this is a great way to make some presents and and just to have a great family time or you know mommy and me time or daddy and me time and uh, enjoy and and just just relax and and make some beautiful art so uh if you haven't subscribed i hope you consider doing so i will be putting up some more tutorials i know this wasn't the most ideal but i hope to get better and i hope that this helps somebody and um more importantly i hope you guys are taking care of yourselves and keeping safe and may you guys always be blessed and until next time take care